Hi, my name is Heather Blake and I'm the owner of 1449 Nutrition and Fitness. And today I would love to inform you about macro counting. So to me, macro counting is the best way to lose or to lose weight or to gain muscle, either way. Um, the best thing about macro counting is that you eat whole foods. Um, you And you don't have to limit yourself. Like you don't have to not eat potatoes or cheese or any of that because carbs carbs are great for us and the fact that some people are like oh no carbs are awful no carbs is what fuels our body to run through the high intensity training that it that we put it through sometimes um so the easiest way to find out your macros is to go online and use a free macro calculator and you'll put in your weight you'll put in your age, your activity level, as far as how many days you work out a week, um, your job, because that affects your daily calorie intake or expenditure. And then it's gonna calculate how many protein, fats, and carbs that you're going to have to have and calories on a daily basis for your goal. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, you're not going to, you're not gonna eat as many carbs as what somebody that's trying to gain muscle is. You will eat less. And you're also going to be a ca in a calorie deficient if you're trying to lose weight versus somebody that's trying to gain muscle is not going to be in a calorie deficient. Um, so people that say that carbs and fat are bad for you are to me very wrong. Uh, carbs is what fuels our body and fat. We have to have fat, so much fat in a day in order to repair our bodies. Uh, we need fat to repair cells, we need fat to repair tissue, so we don't need to restrict our fat intake. We just need to realize how much fat we're intaking in a day. And to help keep track of all this after you figure out how many carbs and protein and fat and calories that you're supposed to have in a day, you can download an app and to help you keep track of everything. And the app is going to help you you're going to log in your food every day as soon as you do it like as soon as you're eating you need to log that food because it's going to help you get into that daily routine um, also your best friend is going to be a food scale it's going to help you correctly weigh out your ounces of meat that you eat or the ounces of vegetables that you're intaking or the ounces of grains like rice um, pasta, stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be your best friend in this journey that you're in adventuring on. Now, this is to me one of the better ways. It's, it's not just a diet to me, it's a lifestyle because it, it's a daily habit. Um, of course, exercise goes along with this because in order to get your goals and to reach your goals, you have to exercise. You have to eat right. You have to eat those whole foods. Uh, you have to cut out the processed foods. Now, you can eat your favorite cookie or Christmas tree cake or Little Debbie every so often, but you can't indulge or overindulge in them on a daily basis. That's what brings, the, that's what it takes the overweight that where a lot of people are at today. But I like this, it, it doesn't restrict you to not eating carbs or not eating so much fat. Um, it doesn't put a, a label that says, oh no, you can't have this. Now, 80% of the time you need to be eating whole foods, uh, like fruits, vegetables, uh, stuff that's not processed, like no candy bars or no, preferably probably no granola bars. Um, Make your own stuff. There, there's a lot of different recipes, but um, this is one of my passions, and it's a, I could spend a lot of time talking about this. But um, I hope that I informed you a little bit, and I will be posting some links of some information below to where you can read more, and hopefully have a better understanding. Thanks.